hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video we started the a new topic a new subject which is internet of things and in that video we discussed some basic introductory concepts related to iot so in this video we are going to discuss about the design of uh, an iot network okay the basic concepts so how uh, iot network is uh, designed the hardware and software aspects of it okay so we know that uh, the iot definition we have discussed it in that video so iot generally refers to a world of interconnected things where each and everything which is operated through electrical means is connected to the internet okay so basically the main objective of doing so is to exchange data and information among each other okay that is the purpose of internet of things okay and everything is done in an automated way without any uh, manual human intervention so as uh, we have already studied the objectives of iot is to achieve interconnection of the various things that are operated through electrical means or the exchange of data and information for sensing processing control actuation and monitoring and to provide various services okay related to these aspects now the design of an iot network generally the hardware and software aspects because iot involves a little bit of each of the engineering branches okay it has its links with instrumentation engineering communication engineering electrical engineering electronics computer science it has its links with everything so the design of the iot network it has to be done on several levels and it basically it involves if we divide it into broad categories it is divided into two categories first is the physical design of the iot and the second one is the logical design of the iot network now the physical design it basically deals uh, or gives us a concrete representation a real uh, you know practical representation of uh, how things will look like how uh, the various things will be done okay and the logical design it gives us an abstract representation okay so the physical design of iot now here we'll just go on uh, you know in a quick way we'll cover the various things in separate videos i will go into each of these things in detail okay because if uh, it cannot be covered in a single video or two video or three video each of these things are you, you can say a uh, Uh, a subject in itself okay each of these things there is layers and layers of layers of concept uh, associated with them so here i'm just going you know i'm just go giving you a, a short introduction about these things and in separate videos i will cover each of these following topics or headings okay so the physical design of iot again it involves two things you know in terms of uh, broad uh, sense of things first is the things in iot okay the things in iot are the devices appliances machinery okay obviously which are powered by electrical means that are connected to the internet it involves defining those things and the second aspect is the communication protocols now the communication protocols uh, are a certain uh, rules regulations or standards you can say which define how the communication or data exchange will take place between the various devices how the connection will be done that is governed by the communication protocol so the physical design has two broad aspects first defining 
which appliances or devices or machinery is are involved in the network okay second is to govern the data exchange or data sharing through various rules regulations and standards defining the connection how the connections will take place that is the physical design next is the logical design the logical design it involves again two things first the functional blocks now we know that iot is used for variety of purposes okay objectives it can be for simple data sharing or exchange for uh, exchange uh, or for sensing for actuation for monitoring controlling anything so those are governed by the functional blocks okay which define the function of each and every device that is involved in the iot network okay and the communication models they uh, they actually it is actually related it has its connections with the communication protocols both of them do the same thing okay communication protocols and physical design has the same role to play as communication models in logical design you know uh, at first these two things will sound similar in their definition but actually it is different when i will discuss them in detail i will uh, i will uh, you can notice the difference so the communication models also they define how the various devices in the network how they uh, communicate with each other okay so uh, as you can say that uh, the manner in which the communication takes place okay in what way so that is governed by the communication models in logical design okay now we already know what uh, the things are in iot it is anything that is operated or function through electrical or electronic means it can be any electronic appliance that you use in our homes washing machine air conditioner refrigerator tv um, it can be a motor it can be a generator it can be any sensor transducer any electrical machinery okay uh, processors controllers so these things okay fall under the category of things from the iot perspective okay internet of things it means they have they qualify to be a part of the iot network so they the characteristic features of these uh, devices is that they should have unique identities generally it is defined by the ip address or the url links and they should have the ability to perform remote sensing processing controlling actuation and monitoring basically it uh, the the it can be done from large distances okay the controller or the one who's who has installed it can he or she can monitor the various iot systems and devices from a far away distance and the final objective which is the main objective is to exchange data and information with each and every device in the network so you can visualize iot as something like this in which each and every device which is powered by electrical means this is very important which is powered by electrical means okay it is connected interconnected to form the iot network okay now the physical design okay the things part is covered now the communication protocols so as i said the communication protocols they determine okay they 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 handle the data exchange or the information exchange between the various devices in the iot network and it does not happen at one level it happens at many levels okay in layers we have already discussed about the open system interconnection model osi model in the computer networking and data communication part that uh, subject 
ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑल्सो आई सेड दैट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस आई ओ टी सेक्शन यू प्लीज कवर अप दो फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी वीडियोज आई है पोस्टेड रिलेटेड टू कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग एंड डेटा कम्युनिकेशन दे वेर आई डिस्कस द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू इट बिकॉज हेयर विल बी यूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ दोज टर्म्स दैट आर यूज दैट आर विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन देयर ओके सो इट वुड बी अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम टू अगेन एक्सप्लेन दैम ओके सो यू प्लीज वॉच दोज वीडियोज यू विल फाइंड इट अ लिटल बिट ईजी टू यू नो टू गेट अ होल्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हेयर ओके सो द communication protocols they function at several levels okay layers basically from a uh, bottom to top approach kind of thing it starts from the link layer the network layer on top of it transport layer and finally at the application layer okay we'll discuss about these layers in a separate video so now you just understand that the communication protocols they operate in terms of in in layers and levels at several levels which uh, is given here now the functional blocks now we know that uh, the purpose of the iot system is to achieve these tasks okay the sensing actuation control monitoring processing controlling uh, security to provide services and management of the system okay so each of these task each of these functions is defined by a separate functional block which is called as the functional block okay which comes under the uh, logical design of iot okay the logical design of iot the functional blocks which is the first part of the logical design of iot okay to represent each of the function okay the function for which the iot system is installed for that is governed various functions it is governed by the functional blocks next is the communication models now the communication models in the logical design and the communication protocols in the uh, physical design they they are very much similar you know and if we define them but actually there there, there is a lot of difference between them the communication models they they govern or determine the nature in which the data transfer takes place okay it uh, each iot uh, system it follows a particular communication models okay we'll discuss these communication models in separate videos so some examples of the communication models are uh, request response publish subscribe push pull exclusive pair etc so for example you say uh, most of the social media platforms that uh, we have nowadays they generally have the publish subscribe or push pull communication model where suppose we subscribe to a particular channel or we like a particular page uh, or we follow someone's profile all the data and information which is related to that profile that channel or that page comes in our uh, timeline in our uh, feed so the request response and the exclusive pair is very much similar to the online search engines okay where it involves two parties client and server where we search for a particular uh, thing we type something we search it means we are requesting something the server the online server it gathers all the related information associated with and it gives all the uh, links okay all the pages in our uh, screen in our computer or uh, mobile screen that is a request response model we'll discuss about them in detail so that is an example of the communication model okay so these are the commonly used communication models we'll discuss them in detail so here we have just uh, covered okay just i gave you a short introduction about the design aspect of the iot network so the 
it involves two aspects physical and logical the physical design involves two aspects things in iot the inter things defining the things and the communication protocols the logical design involves the functional blocks and the communication models now we'll be discussing about each of these things in detail in step by step manner in the future videos so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much